Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on our regular series of Connection Wednesdays for Ida Statica Connection. Today we will focus on Code Check Manager work workflows. Let me introduce today's presenters. Today we'll lead you through webinar Mr. Vidhurčík and myself, David Kuchera. We both are product engineers. Hello. Just a quick recapitulation. If you won't type in the questions, please do it. You can do it in the question panel in the question tab where you can input your questions anytime during the webinar. Before we start with technical part, we have two news for you. The first one, IDEA Statica version 20 was released and is available for you on our web. And IDEA Statica has a new website. Let's have a look. I will open Idea Statica web. Now it appears on my second uh, monitor. So just now you should uh, see our web and it's completely new. So let's say you would like to download new version of Idea Statica version 20. We can scroll down and here is the section downloads. And as you are used to, you can download current version of IDA Statica. And if you would like, you can go through this page. And we can go back to our homepage, idastatica.com. And uh, you can notice that here are two scenarios. One for steel and second one for concrete. Uh, this webinar is about steel, so I can go inside the steel option. If you click on this option, here are some pictures and uh, videos and so on. But what is more important for you, uh, you can go to support center where we provide for you plenty of materials. So just now uh, here is available search bar. So let me show you how does it work. I want or I don't know uh, about Tecla something. So let's say I can input uh, this word Tecla and I'm interested in steel structures and let's say connection design. So you can use these filters, which are available on the left side of the page. And I have 21 results. And I can go through these results. I can check uh, viewer or Tecla or Tecla beam link. So I didn't work with Tecla. I would like to just click on it and we prepared for you tutorial how to do that the step by step so that's our new web let's go back to presentation and now we will focus on a more technical part in the first part of our webinar we will go through steel structure, which is RESC localized. Uh, the new version of IDEA Statica 20 brings a vast amount of improvements, such as Code Check Manager. And this application can be now used to export, manage, calculate, recalculate, or synchronize all of your connections and you will see it in a few seconds 
my colleague uh, with Hurchik will explain it in more detail. So uh, now the screen is yours, Vitya. Thank you very much, David, for the introduction. And I'm just setting up my screen. Great. I'm sharing with you my second screen where I have the Advanced Steel Application 2020 opened with a new, uh, brand new steel structure, quite interesting one. Uh, it's a frame, a few uh, columns, a few beams. Uh, it's not anything um, too complex, but it's interesting one and we have a lot of potential what to show, uh, what to do here, because we almost did full detailing of uh, the joints in this structure and we have plenty of opportunity to play with it. First of all, uh, we have Idea Statica type in the advanced steel uh, ribbons, and here is the command code check manager, uh, which is a new. Uh, so, I, in a few seconds back, I just open it, and meanwhile, I'm talking here, the code check manager uh, application is starting. Here it is. This is the new uh, code check manager. Uh, you can see that that is a new uh, um, uh, user interface uh, with which goes in hand with a different uh, technology behind which is not seen and this technology helps us to improve this code check manager in cases of stability and uh, a progression of the uh, beam link capabilities but uh, for you as a user it's important to have a best UI. Uh, you can start a new project, you can uh, uh, change settings for your project, uh, you can see what is uh, uh, about the license and about the version, you can even open the license manager from here. So this was the first step. Second step is the project one where you can find a lot of um, commands for the uh, export or import itself and uh, other commands for uh, uh, things which can we which we can do with the project. We are we will talk about them later and the material stop for all materials and cross sections etc uh, which uh, will be imported and i'm gonna talk about it later uh, first of all you uh, definitely want to import connections so we are gonna play with this column middle this middle one and i'm going to import uh, the anchoring the middle node and the ceiling uh, connection so let's, let's start. You already know this part, only selecting the command and in three steps I'm going to finish the selection and uh, the beam process, beam process is going on. Uh, the new thing in version 20 is that no, uh, the IDA Statica connection application window is not opening right now. Uh, the code check manager only creates the data, creates the project on the hard disk file and we are going to open it later. So the process of creating or importing um, connections is far more um, faster. You can see that in a few seconds I imported two connections and I'm just going to rotate this model in a better way to see the ceiling connection and I'm going to import the top one also. So right now I have three connections. Three connections already created as a project files on my, uh, on my hard drive. And I can see them in the 3D model. I can play with them more. In a 
let's say 20 seconds, I generated a bunch of connections of project files and now I can uh, work with them more. Let's open them. And right now I just clicked on the open and now the Idea Statica connection window is opening. For me, it's better to import all connections, which I'm interested one in, in them, and then uh, work with work with them more. It opens on another screen, so I just dragging in here. So this is the anchoring. Uh, I'm going to change the offset of the of the concrete because we doesn't have this kind of information in, uh, from the advanced steel and I'm going to load the um, the load effects from previously prepared export from robot structure analysis and by this connection I can merge two projects in one without any um, manual input of the data and that's quite interesting because you can join uh, finite element analysis export and get application export and I just did it important thing uh, press the button save and uh, minimize the window right now the thumbnail uh, picture is presented in the coaching manager and I can calculate it even from here from coaching manager uh, and I'm, I'm going to have the same type of analysis in idea uh, like in idea statica connection window in a few things in a few seconds the progress bar of the analysis is going to be here okay Great, we almost have the results and the res uh, summary of the results is presented here. So you can check out your, mm, your design right in the Code Check Manager application. It's not for the detailed uh, check, but this summary check helps you to orient in your model if you need to pay attention for this detail or not anymore. So let's proceed with the connection number two. I'm going to open it. And I, in a few seconds before, I didn't close the connection window. I just minimize it. And that speeds up the opening of the uh, another file. That's important also. Uh, I'm going to connect this exported uh, joint together with the robot exported joint to load the load effects without manual input. Great, I have it. And I'm going to uh, design or change um, the properties of these members, these two beams, because you can see that they are connected with the cleats, bolted ones, so the connection is hinged. And I need to change the position of the shear force. So this is the important uh, thing as you already know as an IDA Statica user and before in the last version you had to change these um, forces in parameter every time with a change with a synchronization of the model right now uh, IDA Statica connection saves this um, setup for next synchronization so you will just did it once and for all uh, I'm going to calculate the joint here and to, we are going to see what will go happen in the code check manager. Important thing, always save your um, changes before closing or going back to code check manager. Just save, minimize, and here we have it, the same thing, uh, thumbnail and the summary of the results. Great. Let's go to third connection, the top of the a beam okay that's it I'm, I'm i'm going to change the load effects to load them again and this 
beam is also a shear connection, so moving the parameter forces in to bolts, safe and no analysis. Okay. Let's say I want to uh, change something in a CAD model. For example, in this first floor, I want to change the cross section of this beam. It's a, it's a typical thing that you need to change your design during the design process, nothing unusual. So I'm going to pick this smaller section and as an advanced steel users, you already know that these uh, advanced steel connection macros uh, can adapt to changes of the model. But uh, what's oh, how to uh, how to change the data in your previously uh, designed uh, joints? You can do it in a simple way. Just click on the synchronize function. Yes, I want to close it. And with this, um, the data will be synchronized again because coaching manager remembers uh, previous or previously uh, used selections. You are you are going to lost your results, of course. And when I'm going to open it, uh, you will see that uh, the changes are updated in the model. Uh, Idiostatica connection window is opening in my second screen. No, it isn't. It's here, so that's great. In a few seconds, the model will be ready. Okay. Great. I'm just going to maximize it so we can clearly see the changes. And here it is. In the left bottom part, you can see the cross section. And yes, it's 14 to 34. Great. And all things are attached where it was, and load effects are here, and even the forces are in bolts for these two members. Great. I'm going to save it and close the application. Moreover, uh, there are changes in the CAD model that will affect more joints uh, uh, by one change. Let's say I need to change the cross sections of the cross section of the whole column, and I'm going to pick a greater one, this one. The advanced steel macros updates itself, but what should we do? We can update all connections in the list by one command. Let's just choose synchronize all. With this command, all, li all connections in one list are updated. The data of the, from the selection is uh, uh, updated uh, and checked if there is another change. So I can do changes in one push as a bulk solution uh, for whole items in whole structure. You can imagine that I have a lot of them, uh, dozens in one selection, in one, um, in one structure. And moreover, uh, you can calculate them all in one push. By this command, calculate all, which I choose chose uh, in advance, uh, you will perform code check of all connection items in the list. I have only three of them, so it will be a matter of seconds, but you can imagine if you have dozens, tens, hundreds of connection from one structure, you can prepare them in advance, go to the launch, or sorry, calculate all command, and then go to the launch, and after one hour, you will get results for all of them. And this will definitely speed up your design process because you can have summary uh, over results of all your previously defined connections 
in the one push. I can check it out. Great. There are some issues. So if I'm not satisfied, I can go uh, to the uh, in detail open the Idea Statica connection window and pay attention to them. Otherwise, I'm satisfied and I saved my time. And my time is the money. This is the end of the uh, first part of my um, uh, of my practical demonstration, and I'm going to pass the word to David, and he will talk about limitations of the CAT uh, BIM exports. Thank you very much. Thank you for very nice and clear presentation. What does uh, updated code check manager can do? And just now we are in the second part of our webinar about uh, some help desk highlight. In this part, uh, we will talk about uh, tips and limitations. Uh, yes, Idea Statica has some limitations uh, for. As you know, we still improve BIM links. We provide a variety of softwares, uh, softwares for analysis and CAD softwares. And still there are few limitations. So in this part, we will show you workaround for export anchoring from Tecla structures, because you know that that's a limit, but you can do it somehow. I will show you. And my colleague will show you work around for export notches from advanced steel. He will investigate together with you how to use uh, so-called negative volume and how to cut uh, objects by this volume. And he will show you how to cut by surface. So just now enough of theory and we can go we can switch to Tecla structures, where I prepared for you this structure. Connections are ready, as you can see. But just now we are going to export this connection, this anchoring. So how to do that? We will use our application, which can manage uh, connection items, call check manager. You can see that that's the same in each software. My colleague, we uh, showed you advanced steel and just now you can see it in Tecla structures. So just uh, start this application. And the first thing uh, we are going to do, uh, we should choose code we would like to import our connection in. Just now, I want uh, Eurocode, but if you want, you have several options. American code, Canadian code, Russian, Indian, and uh, many others. But just now, we want uh, Eurocode. Let's click at the button, continue. And uh, application itself appears. This is the code check manager with uh, explained in detail what does each button. Just now, we are going to import to Idea Statica this anchoring. Let's click on the connection button. And the import has uh, three steps, three important steps. In the first step, we select uh, node which represents the joint. So in this case, this one. In the second step, we select beams. In this case, we have only one column, so only one beam. And we confirm by spacebar. There are many possibilities in the class structures how you can confirm. My favorite one is uh, use spacebar. And last, and the third, the last, the third step, we select all the remaining parts of the connections, such as plates, bolts, welds, stiffening members, ATC. 
connection was imported. I can check it in Code Check Manager, and it's here. Just now we open in IDEA Statica our imported connection. So let's click on the button open and you will see what will happen. I told that uh, export of anchoring is a limit. Yes, it's a limit, but we can use workaround and edit it, uh, the connection. So we have some plate, steel plate instead of concrete block. We have some stiffening uh, members instead of anchors. So just now I will delete some items and I will replace these items by IDEA Statica operations. Very easy. I like uh, 3D window. I will click on the item I would like to delete and I can uh, directly delete this item or switch it off. In this uh, example, I will use switch off uh, the operation. The same for these four stiffening members, which were imported as anchors. And in the left uh, top part of the software, you can see that IDEA Statica guides us. It tells us what we should uh, switch, up, switch off in the next step. So these four cuts, let's do it. One, two, three, and, and this one. And that's it. We can, let's say, the beginning of our connection. So you can compare how long uh, you will design this uh, connection with these uh, stiffeners and plates and how long does it take to you just uh, take advance of beam links. So just now, as I mentioned, we will add operation, which will add anchors and concrete block. We will do uh, so-called general anchoring and to do that I will use this operation bolt grid or contact. Operation uh, was added and I will uh, change some parameters for this operation so I won't not bolts, not contacts, but anchors. I would like to uh, connect uh, one base plate. So that's one item for me. And I can check how this item is labeled. I can see it in a left uh, bottom part of the software. There is written plate for, so I will choose this plate and the same in this option for uh, foundation block. So plate four, I can make it more visible for you. So let's switch to transparent mode and uh, you can realize that something happened. We edit concrete block, uh, base plate and one anchor. Let's make the design better. So let's add uh, four anchors and same in the opposite direction and I can fine-tune the length of the anchors let's say anchoring length will be 400 and that's it we can say we have final design of our connection. We imported anchoring and just now it's up to you. You can play with this connection. You can add uh, shear lock, let's do it and so on. And the last thing we should do, we can or we have to add some load effects. 
In the previous part of the webinar, in the first part, uh, my colleague showed you how to use connection import. And just now I will show you how to do that via uh, some Excel sheet. So I will use this button, XRX import, and I prepared for you these forces in Excel and just uh, use copy and paste function. Confirm and it's here. And if I want, I can calculate the structure. I will receive some results and now you can play with the connection. If it's okay, you can print a report. If not, uh, you can go back to the class structures and use uh, synchronize options. So let's save this connection. Let's close IDEA Statica and in code check manager, a picture of this connection appears and uh, summary, we can check uh, summary of the results. So that's the way how you can use uh, this kind of workaround and export anchoring from Tecla structures to IDEA uh, Statica connection. And now my colleague Weed will show you uh, some tips and uh, limitations for advanced deal. So the word is yours. Thank you, David. Uh, David just admit, admitted, and I have also, because we can clear how we can uh, say that Aya Statica Beam Links has some limitations. And if you are uh, want to know more, is not the easiest way is to use this search bar and type, for example, advanced steel limitations. The first thing which will be here for you is the tips, limitations and workarounds for advanced steel beam link. And I really recommend to read this through in detail because there are hints how to use workarounds for a few things that we cannot import. We have here general recommendations, uh, three of them, and then real examples of how to do holes, openings and notches. And we have two poss possibilities with negative volume cutting. There is a process how to do it and the second method how to do it. And I'm going to show you these two possibilities in the next few minutes. More here we have how to extend or shorten the beam, the recommended solution, uh, how uh, the beam link recognizes the welds and the recommendation and the haunches. So it will be great if you will have a time to read this. If we are going to show it in a real practice, we are going to have some kind of steel structure model and it's eminent that we have here a clash of flanges between this green and this blue beam at the top at end and the bottom and we have two possibilities so I'm going to do uh, one way at the top uh, notch and one and the other way the bottom notch for that I'm going to use advanced steel uh, commands uh, the element core to UCS and the element contour rule, these two, one and the second. The first one, it's uh, connected with the negative volume. And for the negative volume cut, we need some reference object. I'm going to use Hot Rolls rectangular section as a reference object because it can uh, give me a really nice result. I'm going to define a a beam with hollow cross section from first point to second point and I'm going to change the display type because I want to see the roundings 
and I'm going to play with positioning. I need to move this cross section uh, up and to the right because I only need, want to cut the top flange of the green beam. So uh, the Y offset 25 millimeters and the second offset 35. And that gives me a really nice cut only to the top flange and to the radius part of the web. Right now I prepared the reference object and I can use this command element contour UCS. And advanced still helps me. Please identify the object which is going to be modified. The green one. Identify the object to cut to this reference. And the cut is created, this green uh, uh, rectangular shape, and also the uh, macro window. So I can play, for example, with offset, check out the cut here. I will leave the zero. And the reference is already used. I can delete it because I don't need it anymore. And the cut is created in advance still. Great. Second part, the bottom uh, notch. I'm going to use this element called to rule. So again, so identify the beam to be modified here and the second one here. And the cut is also created. So I created two cuts and right now we want to uh, import it to Idea Statica connection to see what's going on. Okay, first beam, second third beam, fourth beam, and all connection entities. In a few seconds, the data and the project file will be generated and we are going to open the Idea Statica connection window. Great, it will take a few seconds. Uh, uh, yes, we have to admit that Idea Statica connection no, windows and other windows of the applications is opening a little bit slower than the older version because we have a new um, um, uh, licensing tool and we are working on the uh, way how to speed up the opening process so be patient right now please meanwhile uh, our model in connection is already pre prepared and we are going to explore what impact has the two possibilities on of cuts on the ISTK connection model. The top cut is really nicely created in the in this beam. You can see here and even the rounding it's imported. And do you remember how we uh, delete the uh, the negative volume, the reference volume? It's already here prepared for you and I can play with it either. Or for example I can uh, I can move it uh, to one side. Oh, sorry. I can move it uh, from one side and adjust the uh, the cut if I need to or or not. And we have a cut without the welds, and we can with this negative one we can cut almost every shape to every beam in any direction. And what the what about the bottom part? Here we have the cut, you can see the flange is cut and it's cut to surface so uh, it's perfectly shaped according to the uh, surface of the bottom flange and moreover the welds are generated here. Do you see the yellow lines? So it's cut with a welds also included. So it's different approach with the different result and it's up to you which you which one you will choose and which one you will need for your projects. And that is the end of the second practical demonstration and we are going back to the presentation. So we have uh, plenty of questions and I think we almost covered all of them but I have uh, one uh, interesting 
one for the David. Uh, David, could you tell me what is the orange dot at the bottom of our new web page? Uh, of course, and thank you for this question. It's a very good question. As we mentioned, uh, we implemented or we released a new web, and this new web comes with new uh, options for you. The first option, the new search bar where you can find a lot of uh, answers to your questions and the second one this uh, this let's say orange dot it's uh, our chatbot we implemented chatbot to our support center so if you start the chatbot chatbot will introduce uh, itself it's ida our support bot and this chatbot will help you to create a support case so it serves for those of you those of our customers with valid maintenance so you have two options you can uh, try to find something in our support center let's say you would like to find a limitation or limitations or you can use our chatbot and chatbot will send your question to our help desk team only we will ask you for email or username idastatica project uh, screenshots and description of your issue so that's our new chatbot Thank you, David, for your answer. And we have a few more minutes to go. So one question for me, how are the project files generated and stored with use uh, with the new version uh, 20? Uh, Code Check Manager in version 20 uh, created a folder uh, in the same place where the original uh, project from Tecla or Advanced Steel is uh, stored. And in this folder, there are all data stored, uh, data like uh, solver files, data like uh, project files from Idiostatica connection and other things. And if you don't need to, do not touch these folders, Otherwise, you can uh, uh, damage the uh, linkage between those project files. Uh, if there will be more questions, we are going to answer them after the webinar by email. So you, you have still a few minutes, so just type them in and we are going to answer. And uh, as you are used to after the webinar there will be a short survey please fill it in because it's a feedback for us a recording of this webinar will be placed in or at our youtube channel and also at our new web page you can get a trial version at ideastatica.com and don't forget to visit our new support center Well, uh, this webinar is the last one of the Connection Wednesday series at the spring 2020. And uh, usually uh, we will do a next webinars at the autumn, but we thought uh, that it will be great to see you more during the summer. So we are going to do for you special summer webinars uh, 2020 for steel and for concrete. They, there will be a small change in the design of the webinar. They will be shorter and more um, into the topic. And we are going to uh, give you uh, the information about the new webinars soon. So stay with us. Uh, moreover, uh, Many of you already know we have Idastatica camp Campus, which is, a, which is a new 
course for users of Idea Statica Connection. You can become a certified connection design professional. So check it out and you can learn more with us. Well, that is all for today. Thank you to be here with us and I'm looking forward to see you soon in the summer webinars series. Thank you very much for your time. Bye. Have a nice day.